Our world is a seriously crazy place, and we often don't give it enough credit for the truly odd, funny, and sometimes deadly things that it can do. Though many of these may seem too incredible to be believed, trust us, all of these happen and exist in nature on the same planet that we all live on. Unusual, freaky, deadly, you'll find all of those here during unbelievably strange natural phenomenon. Number 11, ice chimneys. What you see in these pictures look like something that would be found in a Dr. Seuss book, but they weren't dreamt up by the late Theodore Geisel. These crazy looking chimneys are all natural and let us tell you all about them. They're a form of fumarole, which is a vent that comes up out of the earth to allow volcanic steam to escape. Except that in the Arctic or anywhere else extremely cold with volcanoes, things work a bit differently. With the air outside being freezing and below, the escaping steam freezes as it contacts the outside air and those particles build up and up until you have these gigantic 60 foot and taller ice chimneys which steam away into the wild cold land around them. Number 10. Bioluminescence This cool natural phenomenon happens with living creatures and it allows them to glow and we're all jealous. It's considered a form of chemiluminescence and occurs pretty widely in both marine invertebrates and vertebrates, some fungi, terrestrial invertebrates like fireflies, and various bioluminescent bacteria. It's incredible and you just have to see it in person to get the full scope of the phenomenon, as pictures definitely don't do it justice. Some incredible displays of this impressive sight can be found on the Vadu Islands in the Maldives as they have a fantastic and world-famous display of dinoflagellates, a form of phytoplankton. Some use the natural glow for luring or for signaling to others of their kind and attracting mates. Others use it for mimicry, counter-illumination, camouflage, or as a warning to say, hey, pal, back up. Pretty darn neat for something that just happens naturally in nature. It's no surprise our ancestors had all of these beliefs about gods and magic. The world had to be a crazy place before science. Number 9. Sardine Run this one is pretty crazy, as the sheer number of sardines involved in this run is genuinely incredible. Throughout the course of May to July, almost every year, billions of sardines make a move northward up along the coast of South Africa, causing quite the uproar, as is understandable. Tons of predators come out for the festivities, as you can see in this picture, and join in on trying to catch dinner from the seemingly endless stream of sardines. Not much is known about the migration, and it's poorly understood, although there have been lots of hypotheses made. Something that throws off any type of good guess is the fact that some years the run just doesn't happen at all. The sardines will carry on doing it for years and then suddenly one year they just won't. Strange. Number 8. Animal Rain This really rare, really crazy meteorological phenomenon is classified as being when flightless animals fall out of the sky, like the fish you see in this picture, and it's happened more than you would think. There are several different hypotheses as to why this would happen, but there has never been a definitive and proven explanation put forth, but the water spout theory is really popular. The belief goes that these fish and frogs get caught up in water spouts, which are basically water tornadoes, and they're carried or thrown over land before being rained down on the unsuspecting populace below. When we look back throughout history, we see that rains of fish and frogs have occurred for a long time as Pliny the Elder, a Roman naturalist, documented it happening in the first century AD. It's happened tons since, and for us to have no definitive answer as to why this happens is actually kind of scary. What happens when it starts raining people? What if these frogs and fish aren't even of this world but from somewhere else? Okay, moving on. Number 7. Rainbow Eucalyptus this really tall, very colorful, extravagant-looking tree is known by a few names, some of which include rainbow gum, Mindanao gum, rainbow eucalyptus, or scientifically as eucalyptus deglupta. If you're wondering, you can find these pretty plants in the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia, and it's the only species of eucalyptus in the world to have a range that extends up into the northern hemisphere. The bark of the rainbow eucalyptus is striped in various distinct and bright colors, and this is because of the shedding pattern of the unusual tree. Throughout the year at different times, patch of the bark peel off and reveal a bright green inner bark, which will gradually change colors between blue, purple, orange, and then maroon as the new inner bark ages. This process happens all over the tree at different times, over and over, and makes for quite the beautiful natural phenomenon. Number 6. Basalt Columns these strange, jagged, columnar stacks of basalt were formed during the cooling of thick lava flows, and the process is called columnar jointing. When a flow cools reasonably quickly, contraction forces build up and fractures or contractional joints form, and the result is pretty excellent. The size of the columns depends on how rapidly the lava cooled, as really fast cooling would result in smaller little baby columns, whereas slower cooling would produce the big macho columns. Devil's Tower is the result of columnar jointing, 
painting, as are a bunch of other places around the world, including the Giant's Causeway in Ireland and the Deccan Traps in India. They're pretty incredible rock formations, and to think they were once a massive flow of lava slowly cooling and solidifying. Neat. Number 5. Ice Storm Nature holds more surprises for us when it comes to the weather than anything else. An ice storm is no exception, and it just so happens to be a remarkable phenomenon that leaves behind some crazy results. The storms are characterized and known by and for their freezing rain, which in some parts of the United States are known as a silver thaw and a glaze event in others. To be counted as an ice storm, at least a quarter of an inch of ice needs to accumulate on exposed surfaces, and from 1982 to 1994, the ice storm was a more common happening than blizzards, averaging six 16 every year. They're not particularly violent or intense storms, and they usually begin calmly and peacefully, with rain falling while temperatures are below freezing outside. What they're known for is their damage and their ability to cause destruction and disaster, as they've racked up costs of more than a billion dollars in one storm. Oh, and for their beauty, they are really gorgeous. Number 4. Fata Morgana this intense happening is an extraordinarily complex and very unusual form of a superior mirage which can be seen just above the horizon. Typically, the mirage distorts whatever object you genuinely see so badly that it's often unrecognizable, and it doesn't help that the Fata Morgana tends to change, and quickly. They can involve any object that is seen at a distance, really, and are often seen affecting things like coastlines, boats, islands, driftwood, and more. The problem is, is that the phenomenon really throws things out of whack and can build layers layers of right-side-up and inverted images stacked on top of each other to create a genuinely trippy mirage, as you can see here. They're more commonly seen in the polar regions, especially over ice sheets that have super cold and uniform temperatures. It is possible that the legend of the Flying Dutchman could be based on a Fata Morgana mirage, and it looks and sounds entirely plausible. Number 3. Fire Whirl Okay, these things are pretty impressive, and you know what makes them even better? The fact that they're all natural and under the right circumstances will give you an incredible show. It puts these bad boys rightfully on this list. They're known by many different names, such as Fire Twister, Fire Nato, Fire Swirl, and Fire Tornado, and they sometimes only need a little whirl of smoke or wind to get started up. When a whipping, whirling eddy of air is formed due to violent winds and an intense rise in heat occurs together, a tornado-like vortex is sometimes created, and that's when you're in for a show. These impressive firenados can reach up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and they are made up of a swirling pocket of air and a burning core, and they're usually produced during wildfires. They typically only grow to top out around 165 feet tall, but they have been reported as reaching more than a kilometer tall. They're not only excellent, but they are super dangerous too. So if you see one in the future, be sure to watch from a distance. Number 2. Sailing Stones Now these are real mind benders because, well, just wait and see. These are known by all sorts of names that describe what they are or what they do, some of which include moving rocks, walking rocks, sliding rocks, and rolling stones. We know that one's super creative. This geological phenomenon involves a bunch of large rocks moving their way across the ground, unassisted, and there are tracks to prove it. This sounds like some weird otherworldly stuff, right? Well, there is an explanation for it, but the answer doesn't make this any less strange. They say that big sheets of ice near the rocks begin to melt and break up during the day, and then at night, they're refrozen and blown around by the wind and shoved into the stones repeatedly, moving them super slowly over time. Weird, right? Racetrack Playa, found in Death Valley National Park, boasts a crazy amount of insanely long tracks, and Nevada's Little Bonnie Claire Playa also has many of the interesting traveling rocks. Pretty creepy, right? Picture all of those giant rocks being slowly pushed by giant sheets of ice in the pitch black in the middle of nowhere. Number 1. Lake Natron Okay, so this is a very odd lake with this mummified bird on it. It is one of the stranger places on this list, and if you're bothered by images of mummified animals, you should probably just skip ahead. Lake Natron is a salt and soda lake found in northern Tanzania that is well known for a few things, some sort of scary things. Things like its high temperatures that at times reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit, its extremely high salt content, and its ability to mummify seemingly ordinary healthy animals at a touch, as you can see in this picture. The poor creature Creatures that decide to, or accidentally, get into the waters of Lake Natron find themselves coated in a liquid that at times has a pH greater than 12. Although it holds some genuinely Medusa-like powers and just looks plain dangerous, some birds and invertebrates call the lake home, and some fish can even survive and thrive in the less salty waters around the lake's edges. Isn't it incredible what things occur naturally in this world that we all cohabitate? 
There are things many would never think possible, and they probably wouldn't even believe some of the stuff on this list, but now you're able to educate and inform people about these strange natural phenomena too. If this video was up your alley, why not like it? Also comment below, subscribe to the channel, and watch out for new videos coming soon. Oh, <laughs>